Grab a can of black spray paint and a roll of rattan webbing. Grab one of those outdoor folding metal tables. Clean it up with water and vinegar. Cut some paper and tape to the table so only the frame shows. Give the frame a fresh coat of black spray paint and let it dry completely. Don't forget to spray paint those silver hinge screws. Outline the top of the table onto the rattan webbing with a sharpie or marker. Cut out the circle with some sharp scissors. Spray one side of the rattan with some spray adhesive. Spray the top of the table with spray adhesive as well and let it sit for a few seconds until the surface is tacky. Place and press the sticky side of the rattan circle onto the top of the table. Place some heavy books on top of the rattan. Use some sharp scissors to trim the excess rattan from the circle so you see the rim of the tabletop. Remove the books and style your new rattan side table beside your favorite piece of furniture. Do you have one of those dorm style door mirrors? Let's give it an update. Tape off the mirror with paper and spray paint the wood frame with black spray paint. Let it dry completely and then remove the tape and paper. Remove any spray paint from the mirror that might have gotten onto the glass and then clean with some glass cleaner. Measure and cut some rattan webbing to fit the width of the mirror and a length that covers about one-third of the mirror surface. Cut another piece as well that is the same width but is shorter in length to create a border for the top of the mirror. Spray one side of each rattan piece with spray adhesive. Place and press the rattan pieces onto each end of the glass on the mirror and place some heavy books on top for a couple of hours. Remove the books and hang your updated mirror on the wall. Grab the pump from a soap or lotion dispenser and tape off the tubing with paper. Spray paint the pump with some black spray paint. Let the pump dry completely by sticking the unwrapped tubing in some styrofoam. Did you know they make rattan ribbon? It's available at craft stores. Measure the circumference of the bottle and then measure out a piece of rattan ribbon with the same measurement. Run a bead of hot glue along one end of the ribbon and press onto the side of the dispenser. Wrap the ribbon around the bottle and hot glue the other end to the origin point of the ribbon. Screw the pump back into the dispenser and place your stylish new dispenser by a kitchen or bathroom sink. I hope this inspired you to update and elevate ordinary home decor with simple black paint and rattan webbing. For today's project, we are going to only need a few items. First, I grab my Amazon package, and this has my caning in here, which is gonna be for the main part of the project. Then I had to run over and grab a couple vases and different shapes, and then I ran the traders and then got some peonies flowers. And I think we're ready to get started. We're gonna start with one of our glass vessels and our caning. And we're going to put that right at the edge of the caning. And we're going to wrap that around and kind of measure it that way. Just eyeball it. And then we're going to cut that. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut that so it overlaps about a half inch over the caning on the other side. Just see how it kind of well, overlaps right there. And then we're going to cut at the top edge of the vase opening about a quarter inch to a half inch taller so you don't see the top of the glass. You could go further, it's really whatever you wanna do. Then we're gonna grab some hot glue and we're gonna start by putting just a tiny little dab at the bottom and it's just kind of securing it to the bottom and I just did this in a few little areas around it. You could do the entire bottom if you want but I kind of did it like in different areas, just a tiny bit uh, so that I can maybe take this off when I decide I don't want the webbing on there. And then we're going to put a bead of glue on one side of the caning and then overlap it. And that's it. Look how cute that is. So here's our first one that is a small one. Then we're going to do the same thing on a large one. Same process. We're going to cut it to size from top and bottom. Then we're going to add the hot glue overlap the two pieces, add a couple little strategic little spots at the bottom to kind of hold it to, so it doesn't slide, and that's it. 
and now you have a larger base. And we're gonna do one more, which is that odd shape one. And what we did was I pre-measured right to where it starts to angle. And I put that around there. And you guys got the picture. I don't think you need me to show you how to do the rest of it, but look how cute that one is. Then I just took some peonies flowers and put them in the vases. You could use these for candle votives also, because remember it's glass inside, so it's safe. And I just love the way these turn out. These are perfect for dining room or your bedside table. They'd be really cute for a wedding. I just love the way they turned out and I hope you guys love it too. First, you're gonna to wanna to go and grab a basic black purse and this faux leather one is perfect for this project. And one important thing you wanna look for when you get your purse is you want it to be lined and you'll see why in a second. So we are going to grab some caning and you know caning is really popular right now for furniture and for home accessories. So I cut a piece already. We're gonna measure the distance of this and this is about five inches. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is after you figure out the dimensions of your cane, we are gonna take that and then make a rectangle or a square, whatever the shape is that you decide. We're gonna make that about an inch or three quarters of an inch smaller. So just kind of mess with it, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then we're gonna use a straight edge. I have a T-square right here. And then I also am using that blue chalk, which is a tailor's chalk. And then after we do that, we're gonna grab a mat knife or an X-Acto knife, and we're gonna use that same T-square or straight edge to cut an opening. And just be just extra careful that you're not gonna go all the way through to the other side where the lining is. Most likely you have a stuffing inside there, which you're gonna pull out at some point. So you should be safe. So we're just gonna take that straight edge and go all the way around. It took me probably three or four passes on each one. After you get all your rectangle or your square cut, you're gonna take out that area and you're gonna see like it's an envelope, which is perfect. If you have any stuffing in there or anything or padding or batting, take that out now. And then take your cane and gently slide that in there into the pocket and make sure it fits nice and snug in there. And then we are going to glue it in place. Just gonna grab your hot glue, and I love the Gorilla Glue, that's like my favorite. And we're going to put that in there and gently smooth it out. It dries really quickly. Do that all the way around. And what I also did is I, I put like a lot of glue, so it's kind of blobby in there so that it kind of will seep all the way around the area so it goes underneath the caning a little bit and then smooth that out and then do the other side and just keep going around. Once you've gotten all your caning secured in there and smoothed out, you are ready to style this and wear this out. So you ready to see how this looks? This bag turned out even better than I originally thought it was gonna turn out and it was one of the easiest DIY projects I've done. It literally took me, uh, I'd say, 15 total minutes to do the whole project. I hope you guys love today's DIY. I think it turned out fantastic, and I hope you guys tried this one at home. And until next time, bye.